G'day guys and welcome! Today I'm going to show you a great variation on a donut kebab. It's a burger kebab. Looks like a burger, tastes like a kebab. And they are very easy to make. So, for this, you're going to need some lamb mince. 500 grams. You can substitute in beef if you like though, but lamb will give you a more authentic flavour. Not that authentic is all that important here. I've also got half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, just a quarter teaspoon of cumin, just a little bit, and one teaspoon of sumac, which adds some great Middle Eastern flavour, so add that in. I've also got some diced onion, about a quarter of an onion, about a tablespoon of fresh chopped oregano. Now add in two tablespoons of yoghurt and give it a good mix together. It is a bit of a messy mix, but keep going until it comes together like this. And now into the fridge for half an hour, you will get a much better flavour doing it overnight though. Now I'm going to make up some garlic sauce. So I've got half a cup of yoghurt, four cloves of fresh garlic, I've also got a couple of tablespoons of grated Lebanese cucumber. Add in the juice of half a lemon, season with salt and pepper, and then give it a good mix together. Now again, this will taste much better the next day, so if you've got time, prepare it the day before. Then once the burgers are out of the fridge, just form them on some baking paper, and it's time to cook them. Now these will only take a couple of minutes on each side, and once you flip them, it's time to toast those rolls. So here I've got a couple of different types of rolls just to mix it up. Use whatever you like. Even use Turkish bread as well, if you like. And now it's time to put this baby together. So bottom bun, burger patty, a bit of that garlic sauce, some fresh chopped onion, some tomato, and some lettuce. Your basic kebab ingredients, guys. Of course, add anything else that you would like, and Enjoy! Now this is obviously not a traditional recipe, but it tastes absolutely fantastic, so definitely, definitely give this one a go. Be sure to subscribe to me and check out all my other great recipes. And if you want to try a great Japanese burger, check out Runny Runny 999's video, it is up on the screen now. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.